What is up guys? Welcome back to another video today. And I know I haven't been posting that much. That's because we don't have much news right now. I hope we have a season. I really do. I'm very optimistic. I'm hoping. Uh, stuff is not looking very good right now. If you see my other videos. But um. But yeah. We gotta hope. But let's get into this. This is my top 15 Heisman contenders for the 2020 season, assuming we have one. And these are not ranked in any really particular order, except the last two. The last two are who I'd bet on. Not necessarily bet on. Who my who I'd pick to win the Heisman right now. And they're pretty bold predictions, so no one's really picking these people. So, it might shock you. A little bit and i'll try to be as non-biased as possible if you do not know i am an alabama fan uh there are three alabama players on this list that just shows my bias but i had to fill 15 in so hope you know and right before i jump into this uh please i want you to know if you want to see highlights on some of the players in this on this list Check the top right corner when I mention their names, and there should be a card up there. Or you can click it right now. You can go right there, click it right now, and you can see uh, highlights for players mentioned in this video. But let's hop into it. No more stalling. So first, we have Trevor Lawrence, the p man most people are picking for the Heisman Trophy right now. Um, I, and I can see why did very very good last season 4,228 total yards 45 touchdowns and a 66% completion percentage not to mention that monster freshman season where he beat Alabama by a lot I painfully remember that but um, of course we all know Trevor Lawrence is going to be here we all know why he's here very good quarterback in fact, he, he got engaged, or uh, he proposed, I should say, to his girlfriend, uh, I believe it was yesterday, so, but yeah, uh, I, I can see why people are saying Trevor Lawrence, he's, I think he's the betting favorite right now, and he's gonna be the number one pick in the draft, assuming something bad doesn't happen, I pray it doesn't, even though I do not like the guy, um, he's gonna be the number one pick in the draft next, uh, next draft. Moving on to our next one, another very, very, very predictable player, uh, right along there with Trevor Lawrence, it's Justin Fields. You knew this, you knew that it was coming. Justin Fields from Ohio State, last season he put up 3,757 total yards, 51 touchdowns, and six and a 67% completion percentage. Very, very good player. Shocked me a lot. And in fact, he, uh, one of the things that shocked me the most is he had, this was his first season starting. He only threw like three picks. One of them would be the pick that ended the season in that very awesome playoff game. But he was very good with ball control last season and put up very good numbers. He's going to have a good year this year. Not my pick, but uh, I can definitely see why people are picking him. You see why. Very good player. He he might. I I don't think he's gonna be the first quarterback taken or the first pick in the draft next se uh next uh season, but he's definitely gonna be the se second quarterback taken, assuming anything bad doesn't happen, of course. Our first and only running back, or actually I shouldn't just say that. There's another running back, but the first out of two running backs on this list, Chuba Hubbard. Uh, last season, he led college football in rushing yards with around 2,000 yards. Total, he had 2,292 yards, 21 touchdowns, and he averaged 6.5 rushing yards per attempt. Very good player. You could say a lot of it is because he's in the Big 12, and the Big 12 doesn't tend to have that many good defenses. But still, very good player. I could see him go going off again. The Big 12 really isn't getting any better on defense. And he's a very good player. I could see him going off again. There was actually some off-season drama. I don't know if you saw. I didn't make a video about it. Very controversial topic. Where Mike Gundy, the coach of Oklahoma State, which is the uh, team Cho Hubbard played, plays for, he wore a shirt with a certain news network on it. Uh, OAN. And that news work tends to be... 
a right winged news source and that upset Chubba Hubbard and but they worked everything out I'm not gonna give my opinion on that very controversial subject but yeah I could so see Chubba Hubbard winning the award although it'd be surprising because we haven't had a running back win since 2015 and then before that we haven't had one win since 2009 both were Alabama running backs Speaking of Alabama, Mac Jones is next on my list. Last year, he didn't play that much. He played, he started versus, versus Arkansas. Oh, I, my memory isn't this good. Uh, the Cupcake game before Auburn. The Auburn game. And Michigan game. So he started four games last year. But in that four game span, he put up 1,539 yards. 15 touchdowns and a 69% completion percentage. The best per, uh, completion percentage on this list, I may add. Uh, I think he's going to be very good. I think Alabama fans, uh, I'm in the Alabama community. I've seen a lot of people saying uh, they don't believe in him. I believe in Mac Jones. Fun fact I saw the other day for you. In the last, in the last half of the 2020 season, so not including the first half, he had the second best quarterback rating. If you don't know quarterback rating, it takes into account a lot of different factors. One of the best ways to determine how good a quarterback is, in my opinion. Not absolute, but very good. And he had the second best quarterback rating in the uh, last half of the 2020 season. Only, only behind Joe Burrow, the Heisman winner. So he has the best coming back he was ahead of trevor lawrence actually i mad that but i do believe in matt jones i think he'll be very good that's what i have to say and i am a little biased and let's get to our other alabama players here we have jalen waddle uh you might have expected him to be on this list uh last year he had 560 yards six touchdowns set and 17 receiving yards per attempt and two return touchdowns i think jalen waddle could make a stride at the award, although he has to compete with another wide receiver that's about to come up on this list. I can see he has amazing speed, amazing agility, very quick, very fast. I, I could see him winning the award. If Matt Jones or the other receiver on this list doesn't take it from him. Because they're on the same team. But yeah, combined with that return ability, I could see him being very flashy this year speaking of that other receiver Devonte smith who led alabama in receiving yards with 1256 total yards 14 total touchdowns with 18.5 receiving yards per attempt uh Devontae smith very good he's entering his senior season he decided to come back i'm very happy for that um i think he'll go very early in the draft next season but yes, I think Devontae Smith is very good. He has to compete with uh, Jalen Waddle, but I, I think he can make him make a stride at the award. Although it's a long shot, in my opinion. Uh, next is Jamar Chase, who won the Bolitnikoff Award last year for the best wide receiver in college football, and I can see why looking at these stats. Uh, but to be fair, he did have Joe Burrow, <laughs> but he had 1,780 total yards. 20 total touchdowns and five receiving yards per attempt very good player he's coming back um and he's going to be very good he's going to put up numbers maybe not like he did last year but still very good good numbers he's going to put them up speaking of lsu lsu quarterback miles brennan is on this list uh i'm not including stats for him because he hasn't really started I don't think he started a single game, but I'm still very optimistic about him. I think he'll do well in the system. Um, I think he was a four or five star running out of high school. I think he's going to be very good. You should watch my highlights on him. My highlights on him, one of uh, one of my most viewed videos, you should go watch that. But I think he can make a serious attempt at the award. Dear King was at Houston for four years, and he's going to play at Miami for his red shirt senior season and and he did not play last year he played like a couple games i think and then he decided hey 
uh, I'm just going to sit out because I'm going to Miami next season. So I'm going to give you his 2018 stats. 3,656 total yards, 50 touchdowns, and a 64% completion percentage. Very good stats. He did very good at Houston, although who knows how good he's going to do at a Power 5 conference. Uh, to be fair, the ACC isn't that good. I will admit that, but we'll see. A lot of people are having him high up on their list, and I can see why. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I can seriously see him having a very good season this year. On to our next player. Mm, Bo Nix. I'm not a fan of the guy. Uh, you know why. <laughs> but uh, he had 2,855 yards and 23 touchdowns in his freshman season. A very good freshman season. With a 58% completion percentage. And the highlight of his freshman season... He beat Alabama in the Iron Bowl. So, and he uh, had that game-winning touchdown versus Oregon. So he had an amazing freshman season. I will say that. And I could see him replicating that again. Improving his game. Improving his throwing. And being a top player in the country next season. I wish that doesn't happen. But, <laughs> you know. You know what it is. Next, we have Kyle Trask, who I just made a highlight video. I'm very proud of that video, actually. I put a lot of work into it, but uh, you should go watch it. But anyways, he had uh, 2,953 yard, total yards last season and 29 touchdowns. To be fair, he did not play the entire year. Uh, in fact, I think he only missed... He, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't have this memorized, but I think he missed week one or week two or two of those weeks. I think it was because Felipe Franks, who transferred to Arkansas, I don't, I never told y'all guys about that, but you probably know, um, got injured, and Kyle Trask came in and did pretty good. Had a 67% completion percentage, by the way. I don't know if I said that, but yes, very good. Um, I see a lot, a lot of hype around Kyle Trask in Florida. I don't know if they're gonna live up to all the hype people are giving him, but, but I could see it put some work in with Kyle Trask he could be the next Joe Burrow he could surprise people and it, it'll be interesting to see what he does this season I'll definitely be keeping in touch with him Sam Ellinger had 4,326 yards last season with 39 touchdowns and a 65% completion percentage sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background I'm so sorry but he did very good, very underrated last season. No one talked about him. I didn't even know he did this good. But uh, he's been at uh, Texas for a few seasons. Texas born and raised guy. Dream job being the quarterback there. Um, I, I think he can make... I think he can win the award this season. I don't think he is. But I think he can. Very good. The Big 12 isn't that good. And if he can... if. Oklahoma doesn't have someone up there. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I think he can be the best player. And if Chubba Hubbard falls off, I think he can be the best player in the Big 12. And that'll be so be saying something. If uh, Texas can compete for a playoff, they'd even boost his chances even more. He's been a pretty okay guy for three years. And I think he might break out in the senior season. Next player on our list, Travis Etienne. The teammate of Trevor Lawrence. Uh, last year he had 2,046 total yards. 23 total touchdowns. With 7.8 rushing yards per attempt. He's a very, very good player. I am kind of mad he came back for his senior season. Because I don't want to deal with him in a playoff or championship game. Or wherever we might meet this season. I hope Alabama gets to one of those. Um, but yeah, that makes Clemson even better. Which is no, I'm not a fan of making Clemson better, but yes, a very, very good player in all seriousness. He can catch the ball. He can run the ball. Um, I mean, he's an amazing player that's torched my teams a couple of times. But yes, he can make a very good stride at the award this season or uh, make a very good stride at the Dolt Walker or the best running back award. And if he can be the best running back in the country, he's going to be up there for the Heisman. 
Now, my two players, my two final players, if I had to pick someone today, these two, one of these two players will be the person I pick for the Heisman. I have one in mind that I give the edge to, but I'll give you the one who I don't give the edge to, but I can totally see winning the award. Spencer Rattler, quarterback, Oklahoma. He, last year was his freshman season. He sat behind uh, Jalen Hurts. Only got a few throws in. Those few throws I put into a highlight video in January. I don't know if y'all know this. I've never talked about it. That video blew up. That video completely blew up. That video has 200,000 views. If you know what video I'm talking about and you viewed that video, I am so thankful. That brought me so many new subscribers and it's my most viewed video. That went insanely viral. Thank you guys for that. I don't know if anyone has kept up with that video, but thank you because that video went crazy. Thank you guys for that. Very grateful for that. But back on topic, Spencer Rattler, um, five star best quarterback in his class coming out of high school sat uh in his freshman season at, um bench for Jalen Hurts of course I think he's gonna get the starting job this season I think he's gonna wreck the big the big uh 12 big 12 as I said not known for having super good defenses and you see what uh the Oklahoma quarterbacks have done in the past five seasons or four seasons uh, of course, Baker Mayfield won it in 2017, I do believe. Yeah, yeah. Baker won it in 2017. Not to mention he was up there in 2016. And then Kyler Murray won the award over Tua in 2018. And then Jalen Hurts finished second last year behind Joe Burrow. But Joe Burrow was something else. And I see no reason why an Oklahoma quarterback can't get up there again with the genius Lincoln Riley system. This might be Lincoln's last season at Oklahoma before he goes to the NFL. I've been hearing a lot, a lot of rumors. But yeah, Spencer Rattler, I could totally see him winning the award. Um, one of my picks. But the guy, the sleeper pick, no one, I've never, I haven't seen anyone pick this guy yet. He's usually a dark horse candidate. Sam Howell. Sam Howell is my pick to win the Heisman Trophy. You might you might even be saying, who is Sam Howell? Well, Sam Howell is a freshman quarterback from North Carolina. He was a freshman last season. He's entering his sophomore season. Okay? He as a freshman, he threw for 3,699 yards. 40 touchdowns with a 61% completion percentage. That are some beastly numbers for freshmen. In fact, that touchdown, those touchdown stats, set the freshman record for college football. Yes, he broke Trevor, I believe it was Trevor Lawrence. I think it was Trevor Lawrence's record for t uh, freshman touchdowns. So this guy's gonna be very good. I've looked at some analysts, what they have to say, they say this guy is an NFL quarterback. He plays like an NFL quarterback. Very smart for a freshman. I could, I'm picking him to win the award. I could be wrong. Uh, my Heisman predictions are usually wrong. Uh, as far back as I remember, in 2017, I picked Jalen Hurts to win the award. He got benched in the championship game that year. In 2018, my, my worst prediction, I picked Kelly Bryant from Clemson to win the award. Uh, he was benched three weeks into the season, transferred to Missouri, and he's a undrafted free agent in the NFL right now. That was such a bad pick. And then last year, I picked Tua Tonga Vailoa, which wasn't bad. He finished 10th, and the only reason he didn't finish higher was because he got hurt. So that was my half-decent one. But I'm usually not good with Heisman predictions. But I feel like Sam Howell, I feel like Sam Howell can win it this year. My prediction might be right this year. But if you have not seen his highlights, go watch them. Um, I tried to say as non-biased as possible. Try not to pick an Alabama player. Of course. But uh, UNC, North Carolina, building something special over there. Uh, they're grabbing recruits, if you haven't seen. Grabbing a lot of very good recruits. I think, they're, I think they have the possibility to win 
Well, it depends on how many games they're playing with this whole conference only schedule. It's very confusing. But uh, I could see them only losing like two games. I think North Carolina is going to be very good and give Sam Howell a very good shot to win the Heisman Trophy. But those were my predictions for the Heisman Trophy, my top 15 candidates. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? What do you think of my final prediction? Uh, will someone from your favorite team win the Heisman? What do you think the chances are? Let me all know in the comments below. I love reading your comments. I read every single one of them. But, as I said, thank you for watching. Like the video. Subscribe. Share. Comment. And peace out.